Hey guys, this is Richard Price with Hitech Battery. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the new Noco Genius chargers. This is the Genius 2X4 series. Uh, it's going to be a four bank, two amp hour charger. Um, this is going to be the successor to the original Noco Genius G4 series, which we use a lot in our shop here. Um, in terms of the Noco itself, it's been completely redesigned, physically smaller. Um, the faceplate has a lot more going on. It's going to tell you a lot more about the battery itself. Um, some of the diagnostics on there are a little bit more advanced than what you see in the G4. Um, it's also got the built-in force mode so that you can charge batteries that are pretty much flatlined that the charger wouldn't normally be able to pick up. Um, instead of the 4 volt cutoff, this particular model will be able to auto detect voltage all the way down to 1 volt. And if you're below that, you can use the force mode to actually register the batteries. It can charge both 6 and 12 volt batteries. In terms of chemistries, it can do all the standard chemistries that the original G4 can do. So it can do a wet cell, AGM, gel, and lithium, uh, lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate, as long as there's a BMS uh, in there. So the game plan here is we're going to do the unboxing. So we're going to take a look at it as if you were going to get a brand new. Uh, we're going to see what comes with the charger, how to set it up, and what it looks like when you're actually using it. And we're going to go from there. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and open her up. Very nice. And looks like we got three accessory cases here. Okay, so let's take out the charger first and see what she looks like. All right, so I can already see that this is going to be about half the size of the original G4 charger. Uh, the other G4 charger, Noco's first version of this, was literally uh, the size of the entire cardboard cutout here. So let's go ahead and take the charger out. Let's see. Okay, our quick disconnects. All right, so the charger is extremely light. I mean, maybe two pounds. Uh, relatively thin. Uh, it looks like we have two mounting brackets here. It comes with two screws so you can mount it on a wall permanently. Our AC cord is going to plug in right here. Uh, the faceplate has been completely redesigned for the G4. It's got our charging status indicators, um, which is normal for these, but we also have battery diagnostics above that, which is new. Um, chemistry is supported. They're going to be the standard chemistry so with the G4 unit. So you're going to have your 12 volt lead acid, your gel cells, 12 volt AGMs, 12 volt lithium, and the 12 volt lithium mode does include um, lithium ion as well as lithium iron phosphate. The must have for those is a battery management system. Um, so those lithium series, both lithium ion and, and the lithium iron phosphate need to have a BMS in order for the charger to properly function with them. Uh, and they also have the six volt mode. Uh, so 6 volt mode on here does not uh, specifically support AGM batteries. We've charged several AGM batteries with them, but if you come through the manual and you talk to NOCO, it is really set up for 6 volt uh, wet cell and gel cell batteries. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and plug it in, and then we're going to open up and take a look at the battery clamps and the extension cable and uh, basically show you how the charger actually functions. Um, so first thing, we'll go ahead and take a look at the AC cables. Let's open this up. Okay. So first, we've got our manual, which comes in every single language known to man. And total four AC cables in here. Um, so we've got the, the standard European plugs in here because this charger does do 110 to 220 uh, volt grids. Uh, so let's find our, our US plug style. Be this one right here. So we can put this off to the side. Okay. So that's our AC. And then let's take a look at the clamps. Okay. So we got the battery clamps and the extension cables. Two sets of each. Or I'm sorry, four sets of each. So with the original G4 series, it actually only came with 
two sets of battery clamps and then two eyelet terminal sets. We get a lot of customers that didn't like that. Whenever they buy a battery charger, they expect to have the battery clamps with them. Uh, so for this, you get four sets of battery clamps. Uh, the battery clamps have been redesigned. They're very heavy duty, a nice strong spring. And you can see all brass fittings, um, all brass coatings. And then actually, if you undo the um, hex bolt right here, you get the eyelet terminals on these as well. Um, so you can use either the battery clamps or disconnect them and get the eyelet terminals for a permanent mount, uh, depending on what you got going on for your situation. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it looks like. Okay. So when you start the charger for the first time, it's going to be in a standby mode. Um, basically, this is this this charger is if it loses power and it's it's charging a battery, it's going to remember the mode that it was in. It's going to go right back to charging. Um, so if you're if you're away from a house or on vacation or if this is at a vacation house and it loses power. You don't have to worry about it not coming back on and into the right mode. It'll go right back where it was and continue the charging process. Uh, so I'm going to go grab a battery and then we're going to hook it up and I'm going to bring you through the charging cycles here and show you some of the different features uh, of the charger itself. Okay guys, here's the deck of battery. It's a sealed AGM motorcycle battery. So let's go ahead and hook up the battery clamps to the charger and give it a go. Okay, um, so we're going to go to the AGM, the standard 12 volt AGM mode on here. Um, so you cycle through the settings with the mode button, pretty straightforward. Uh, so you have your standard 12 volt mode, that's going to be for your wet cell and your gel cell batteries. Uh, your AGM mode is going to be for your AGM and AGM plus series. Then your 12 volt lithium mode, lithium iron and lithium iron phosphate. I'm sorry, lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate. And then if you hold the mode button down for three seconds, you're going to get into the six volt mode. Um, so the six volt mode is not really meant for um, AGM batteries. If you talk to NOCO um, and, and in the manual itself, it's not going to state AGM batteries, really designed for wet cell and gel cell batteries. So this brings us to our first air light. So this is going to be the voltage air light. It means we're in the wrong charging algorithm. Um, so we're in the six volt setting for a 12 volt battery. So it's going to air out. And let us, it's not going to try and charge the battery. It's just going to let us know there's an actual issue. So switching the mode, we'll turn that off. Um, in terms of the charge lights, four charge lights represented by different colors. The first two are going to be red. Uh, this one's going to be uh, like an orange amber. The final one's going to be a green. When the battery's fully charged, you'll have a solid green light at the very end with no other charge indicator lights lit up. If you have a slow blinking green light, which you will, uh, that means your battery's at about 90% charge. You can use it if you need it. Uh, if not, let the charger do its thing and bring it up to a 100% fully charged. Now moving on for the air lights here. So the second air light, it's a picture of a battery with an X uh, in the lower right hand corner. That is the battery not holding a charge. Um, so the two common scenarios for something like this is if the battery is installed in an application, let's say, uh, say a Corvette or a motorcycle, you have a parasitic drain issue going on, a bad ground, uh, or there's an accessory in the, in the application that's drawing hard in the battery. When that happens, the charger is not going to be able to keep pace. Um, if, if it's being outpaced, it's noticing that the battery is not retaining the charge. The voltage continues to dip, even though the, the charger is going in the bulk charge mode. It's going to air out and let you know there's a problem. Um, the other scenario is that the battery itself, there's an issue. Um, you either have a, a dead short in a cell or the battery is so old and faded that it's not able to retain the charge and the voltage continues to dip. Um, so the next air light here is going to be reverse polarity. Um, so reverse polarity, basically you've got your positive and negative mixed up. That's no big deal with the smart charger. It's just going to give you the air. It's not going to spark on you. It's not going to do anything like that. You can touch the clamps together and you're not going to have any major issues going on. Uh, so that's reverse polarity protection. Your final light is going to be temperature. So the temperature is an internal temperature for the charger itself. It's not going to be able to read the temperature of the battery. So if the ambient temperature is too hot or too cold for the charger, it's going to give you this light on all the banks, whichever banks hooked up, and it's going to let you know that it's not going to be able to perform until the temperature is nominal for the charger itself. 
one other mode I wanted to cover here is going to be the force mode. Uh, the force mode is pretty cool for these Genius series. So the, the charger has a automatic recognition of, of down to one volt for a battery. So if your battery is sitting at one volt or higher and you hook it up to the charger, it's going to recognize the battery and try and charge it. The old school G4 uh, only had a four volt recognition in it. So they, they were able to lower that down to one volt, which is great. Uh, but the force charge, that particular mode there, doesn't matter what voltage your battery is at. So it can it can be below the one volt mode, stone cold dead, flatlined. And you engage that mode and it will force the charger to turn on no matter what for five straight minutes. Um, so we can actually take a look at how that looks like. To get to that particular mode, you hold down the mode button for five seconds here. And then we're gonna see a couple of lights here. So all your different modes are gonna light up because it's asking you what mode you wanna set the battery in. So connect your clamps to the battery. We're going to set ours for AGM. And then you're going to get a little light show. So this is going to go on for five minutes here. And this force mode here will turn off all the safety features for the NOCO Genius. So your reverse polarity protection is turned off. So uh, if you were to reverse the polarity on this by accident, you will get a spark. Um, so just be mindful of that whenever you use the force mode and it's engaged. I always recommend leaving the battery on until the force mode is done. Um, again, if you guys have any questions on this stuff, feel free to drop them in the comments section. You know, we, we are uh, very responsive on that. But it's one of the premier features that we like of the, of the whole entire line of the new NOCO Genius series of this force mode. We sell a lot of batteries. Um, so people bring us, uh, you know, batteries that have been flatlined, they have a bad day, bring in the battery, and we're able to bring it back within a few hours. We're using the force mode to jumpstart the whole process. Um, so that, that pretty much covers the NOCO Genius 2X4 series. Um, it's, it's a good all-around battery charger if you've got more than two or three batteries. So if, if you've got a garage full of stuff, full of toys, you've got it you know, a couple motorcycles or a snowmobile or ATV, classic car you're trying to store. This is a perfect charger for you to, to leave during the winter months, during the summer months. It can be left hooked up indefinitely. It won't damage any computer systems. So if you've got, you know, some of the nicer cars like BMW, Mercedes, Bentley, anything like that, it's not going to hurt any of the electro electrical components in there, none of the computer systems. So it can be left on indefinitely and there will be no adverse effects. It'll keep your battery topped off and ready to go. Uh, I think that's about it. So I appreciate your time, guys. Again, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Our, our Genius 5 and Genius 10 videos have a couple hundred comments each, so we're very responsive. Or give us a call. I can be reached toll-free at 1-877-775-4381. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.